Welcome to Downtown James. I'm Joe Piper. I'm Erica Piper. Cool. Uh, we have a dance West Coast swing move that we're working on today. Um, it's a variation on a right side pass um, with a redirect, so it kind of works a little bit more like a whip. For this movement, just kind of give you an idea. We're going to start with a sugar push just to get our momentum going. And then we're going to prep through. Connect and catch, and then roll back, boom, to finish up. Okay, so with count, we have sugar push, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. We have one, two, three, four, and triple step, triple step for our ball. Um, so this is kind of a cool move. It works. The redirection in it is really interesting because it's behind the back. We have to start off with our left to left, right. left to left, left. Our right to left connection. So lead your right to follow this left or vice versa. Okay. From here we have our um, typical like uh, left turn for our followers. So we're prepping towards the right side of the slot, leader's orientation, and then back again. And from here, we're going to take that turn and go up and over and through. We're going to connect, and we're actually going to give a little bit of energy down through that hand to actually cause our follower to rotate more. Okay, from here, we're both kind of gathered collective on this side of the room. Uh, leaders left, followers left, and we're actually like. There has to be rotation from here to make this work. I have gone through and rotated into the side of my body and making sure that I'm being strong within my shoulders, but I'm rotating through and into this connection through this side of my body. Cool. Which is my left. And I'm holding my shoulder down and engaged so that like my shoulder is stabilized by big muscle groups rather than just like letting it get yanked on from behind me. So that section one more time, we have prep, prep, rotate under, connect. Okay, from here, um, we're actually, leaders were rotating into our partner to cause them to feel like this sense of uh, rotation into their connected arm. So we're gonna do this from straight on. So you can see what I'm saying? So from here, from here, okay, bonus move. <laughs> okay, so from here, we have prep through, up and under. Here's where that connection's happening. Um, I'm trying to keep alignment with my follower's body, I'm maintaining their frame even though it's behind me. So we're going here, we're rotating in. My left arm and my left side is gonna rotate into this connection because there's a built up kind of anchor redirection point here. So as I rotate in, it's really my rotation through the side that helps finish out that lead for our followers rotation. And then from here, we're just coasting out into a duck. Boom. Okay, from this angle again, we have one, two, three, hit four, we have five, six, seven, and eight, which is our leader's footwork. Um, Followers, your duck on this, like with any duck, um, really requires your ability to understand kind of like how to hold yourself with your head not in position, but without necessarily stretching down, which I will show you right now. So we're here. I'm making sure, obviously, that I'm through this and I'm keeping my frame engaged. Right in here, I feel his hand on the back of there. I think I'm going to be here and I'm going to get stuck, which obviously I don't want that which is going to give me the indication that, hey, I can duck through this. And I'm going to think uh, elbow straight up so that there's a clear, easy window for my follower to travel through. So you can duck and go down as long as you're not bending your, like, you're bending your, your torso down. You can go down here. I personally, I like going like this because that's my fancy style. <laughs> Enjoy the Echo Pepper fancy style. So we have one, two, we have that catch, we're connected here. My rotation causes this turn, and then I continue that to create a window for that duck, and we're done. So another angle, 
And this can present in different ways depending on which part of the pattern you want to accent. From this side, you're going to see the initial setup much more than you're going to see the duck. The opposite side, you have to see the duck a little bit better. So we have one, two, three, shift, four, we have five, six, seven, and eight. Cool. Let us know how you like it. If you have any questions, do this stuff at us. <laughs> Bye, you guys.